What's up people? Welcome back. Well, as you can see, it's almost 1 a.m. here in the morning where I am at and I normally don't do videos this late. However, I realized, I remember today that someone, well, I guess more than one person had asked me to talk about Linux partitions for beginners. Well, let's do this into two parts. Briefly tonight, I'll do a short one and explain, uh, define some Linux partitions. And maybe in the other video, we'll install Linux Mint uh, 18 using custom partitioning. Now, I'm sorry getting this to you late. This was asked, I think, months ago, but I haven't had good luck with Linux lately. Those of you who watch my channel, you know what I mean. But let's move on. Let's, let's talk about Linux partitions briefly. All right, um, and if you see some flickering here, I do apologize. Like I said, I'm, I don't know what's going on, but there's some flicker here, and I'll go through this as quickly as I can. Okay, so what is a partition? Well, it's basically on a hard drive. It's space that is split or separated on a hard drive. If you are building a house or have a house that has just four walls and you wanted to build or put in sections, those sections would be... Uh, well, they would be walls, but really partitions on, on a hard drive, they are called partitions and not a wall. So that's what a partition means. Okay, number two, root or forward slash. Now this contains basically everything in your in your Linux desktop on your on your computer. Root partition is required. Okay, swap. It's basically virtual memory. If you don't have enough physical RAM on your computer, swap is used to make your computer go. Keep in mind that swap can be very, very slow. And if I recall on an SSD drive, I don't think you need swap. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Finally, the home partition. Now the home partition, it is not required, but the home partition contains all of your files like documents and music. And once again, it is not required, but nice if you trash your system or something breaks. And basically what that means is if something breaks, you can reinstall your Linux-based operating system and hopefully your music, your files, your folders, whatever data will still be there. Now you can just use root and swap and basically everything is in your root partition. But if your system is trashed, unless you backed up everything before, whatever is lost is basically gone. So generally speaking, you should have three partitions, root, swap, and home. Again, to be perfectly honest, I like to speed things up. I have a root and a swap only because I back up everything on an external hard drive. All right, well, I hope that explains briefly for beginners uh, some definitions of Linux partitions. That's all I have for this one. It's late. I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching and listening. As always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. I'll catch you guys later.